a solid shaft uh, running at 160 rpm has to transmit 100 kilowatt of power the material must not be stressed beyond 60 newton per mm square and the shaft must not twist more than one degree in length of three meters select a suitable diameter for the shaft here uh, there is a solid shaft uh, running at 160 rpm so first of all uh, let us note down the given data so given uh, speed of uh, rotating sh uh, solid shaft so first of all uh, let us uh, list out given data so given data i will choose so first of all uh, given speed speed denoted by n capital n is equal to given 160 rpm and uh, it can transmit power capital p is equal to how much power is given you given 100 kilowatt power 100 kilowatts 100 kilowatts so kilo means 10 cube so 100 into 10 cube watts kilo into 10 cube kada 1000 so here anyhow here we have two zeros 10 square into 10 cube you will get 10 power 5 watts okay na? this much power uh, transmitted by the shaft in the power transmit just that power okay na? shaft next speed 160 rpm next still like given uh, some data so here given uh, maximum shear stress shear okay na? so maximum shear stress how much you given you given uh, maximum shear stress uh, 60 mpa means uh, 60 newton per mm square 60 mpa actually given 60 mpa 1 mega pascal is equals to 1 mpa means how much 1 mpa is equal to 1 newton per mm square okay na? 1 MPA is equal to 1 Newton per M square. Okay. Next. You given uh, maximum angle of twist. You given angle of twist. Angle of twist denoted by theta. Angle of twist. So how much angle of twist you given? Angle of twist. Theta is equal to. I think you given 1 degree. Let us uh, convert it. Convert this degree into radians. Degrees ni radians lo convert chayali. Okay. So theta is equal to 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radians. Pi by 180 radians. So radians lo convert shall. Very important. This conversion is important. So we have to convert degrees into radians. Pi by 180 radians. Still any more data. And uh, given uh, length of the shaft. Length of the shaft is 3 meters. 3 meters means 3000 mm. Why 3 meters is equal to 3000 mm? We know that 1 meter is equal to 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm. Then 3 meters is equal to 3000 mm. Okay. Still. So at anyhow, at last we need to find suitable diameter of the shaft. Diameter of the shaft. We need diameter of the shaft. Diameter of the shaft. So diameter of the shaft denoted by small d. So we need small d. Okay. And remember, here uh, given uh, maximum shear stress as well as angle of twist. Okay, so here it means we have to design a shaft based on two parameters. In general, we design any shaft based based on two parameters. One is one is based on based on maximum shear stress, and the second is. Uh, Parameter is based on angle of twist. Based on angle of twist. Angle of twist. Okay. So we can design any uh, shaft, any solid shaft based on two theories. I mean, uh, two parameters, two concepts. One is maximum shear stress, and the second concept is uh, uh, angle of twist. So Based on maximum shear stress, shear stress formula you just can even diameter find out shear shaft ke. At the same time, we can find the diameter of the shaft based on angle of twist theta. Okay, let's see how to solve, how to find the diameter of the shaft based on these two theories. Okay. So uh, we can design uh, solid shafts uh, based on maximum uh, shear stress and um, based on uh, angle of twist. But anyhow, in this question, there is uh, there is a missing data. So, what is that missing data? It didn't mention anything about uh, shear modulus. Shear modulus 
or or modulus of rigidity so question lo manaku ikkada mention cheyali you didn't mention anything about shear modulus or modulus of rigidity but we need modulus of rigidity to find the diameter of the shaft based on angle of twist okay so let us assume assume shear modulus or modulus of rigidity shear modulus denoted by g or capital c in some textbook you mention capital c okay na you will observe capital c so anyhow so here i am assuming 80 gpa in general most of the problems uh, uh, just observed given same similar kind of problems lo ni 80 gpa estunnaru so adhi teeskuna so 80 gpa means 18 to giga pascal okay here gpa means giga pascal so 1 giga pascal is equal to 10 to the power of 9 pascals okay still we can write it as 80 into 10 power 9 pascal means newton per meter square newton per meter square at the same time it can be written in terms of newton per mm square also see 80 into 10 power 9 means 10 cube into 10 power 6 a power m into a power n a power m plus n into newton per meter square so 80 into 10 cube 10 power 6 newton per meter square means 1 newton per mm square 10 power 6 newton per meter square can be uh, written as newton per mm square ok na so 10 power 6 newton per meter square plus name right manam newton per mm square kode right ok anyhow this is all about shear modulus or modulus of rigidity anyhow ultimately we have to design shaft based on first maximum maximum shear stress based on maximum shear stress given some shear strength so i think uh, how much you given tau maximum is equals to you given uh, 60 mpa 60 mpa means 60 newton per mm square 60 newton per mm square okay anyhow so we are going to use uh, torsion equation so very important so according to torsion equation torsion equation of shafts torsion equation so what is torsion equation t by j is equal to g t theta by l is equals to tau by r this is called this equation is called torsion equation very very important so design of shafts like this is important the formula was there and problems was there so according to torsion equation t by j is equal to g theta by l is equal to tau by r what is t here T means torque transmitted by the shaft. T for torque. And what is J? Polar modulus. J for polar modulus. Next. G theta. G means shear modulus or modulus of rigidity. Next. Theta means angle of twist. L means length of the shaft. Here tau means shear stress. And R is radius of the shaft. Radius of the shaft. So now I am going to use this formula. Okay. So, anyhow, T by J is equal to tau by R. Here, T by J is equal to tau by R. Okay. At the same time, we have a relationship between torque and shear stress. Torque and shear stress. So, we get that relation from T by J is equal to tau by R. From this, from this relation, see. Here, T by J is equal to tau by R. So, from this relation, if you simplify this relation further, you will get one, one relationship between shear stress and torque. Torque ki shear stress ki relation osta. The entire relation ante. Tau is equal to 16t by pi d cube. Tau is equal to 16t by pi d cube. Or, or t is equal to, torque t is equal to pi by 16 into tau into d cube. So, one more relation is pi is equal to i mean t is equal to pi by 16 into tau into d cube this is one more relation okay so using this equation we can find diameter of the shaft here d is diameter of the shaft here are unknowns are here unknowns even one key first to find diameter we need values of t and tau tau already given 16 newton per mm square here only unknown is t t for tau so how do we find how can we find the torque 
he already given um, power transmitted by the shaft we know that power transmitted by a shaft is equal to 2 pi nt by 60 using that formula we can find t so torque vachesthe first one torque find out chesthe tau already ichadu then we can find diameter so what is uh, t is equal to torque is equal to pi by pi by 16 into tau into dq okay na so here we are calculating diameter of the shaft based on suitable diameter of the shaft based on maximum shear stress this is maximum shear stress tau max first of all let us find t here t for torque t is equal to torque transmitted maximum torque transmitted by the shaft by the solid shaft you given solid shaft okay na so solid shaft enta torque transmit chestundi okay na adi t we know that power transmitted by the shaft power p is equal to formula enti deniki 2 pi nt by 60 2 pi nt by 60 power transmitted by the shaft so power how much is given power 100 kw let us convert into watts means 100 into 10 kw watts is equal to 2 into pi into speed 160 rpm into t by 60 from this uh, uh, equation we can find t so to find t transpose all these quantities uh, to left hand side so before that two ones two thirties a zero zero get cancel and transpose all these quantities 100 into 10 cube 100 into 10 cube means how much 10 power 5 then okay the division becomes multiplication into 3 by pi into 16 is equal to t now torque t is equal to just simplify this expression okay na if you simplify it further so you will get torque transmitted by the shaft is equal to 5968 point here i got 5968 point 31 newton meters unit em ostundi newton meters ostundi but anyhow i want to convert torque in newton mm we know that 1 meter is equal to how much 1000 mm 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm now 5968.31 newton meter can be re written as 5968.31 into 10 cube newton mm 10 cube newton mm 10 cube mm means 1 meter okay so this is torque transmitted by the shaft in newton mm okay let us find uh, torque transmitted by the shaft based on maximum shear stress here tau is tau maximum already given so it all values you will get 5968.31 into 10 cube this is uh, torque value is equal to here pi by 16 pi by 16 Tau max how much? You give us 16 newton per mm square into d cube. Okay. Transpose all quantities. Division becomes multiplication. You will get 16 into 5 in 6.8 point 31 into 10 cube. That's all. Uh, we need to calculate further. You will get answer here. Pi into multiplication becomes division. Pi into 60 is equal to d cube. Okay. So if you simplify this, uh, you will get uh, here. I got d cube is equal to so here uh, finally uh, okay so here i got 506 605.8 this much value uh, just got i got this much value so anyhow now apply cube root on both sides cube root on both sides cube of cube root to get cancel here also cube root of 506 605.89 So cube root of this value here we will get d. D is equal to value of this is seventy nine point seven two mm. Therefore diameter of the solid shaft based on maximum shear stress is based on maximum shear stress is seventy nine point seven two mm. Okay na? It's not our final value. We cannot uh, say uh, diameter of the solid shaft is seventy nine point seven two mm because we have one more uh, one more concept. one more parameter so that is uh, angle of twist so we have to find diameter of the shaft based on angle of twist so idi maniki maximum shear stress ninchu vachina diameter alage maniki angle of twist kuda ichadu 
సో దాన్ని బేస్ చేసుకుని కూడా మనం డయామీటర్ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేయొచ్చు షాఫ్ట్ కి సో బేస్డ్ ఆన్ బోత్ డయామీటర్ ఫైవ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ హియర్ వి టేక్ లార్జర్ ఆఫ్ టూ వాల్యూస్ ఓకేనా ఫర్ సేఫ్టీ పర్పస్ వి ఆల్వేస్ కన్సిడర్ గ్రేటర్ డయామీటర్ ఓకే మ్యాక్సిమం డయామీటర్ నాల్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ angle of twist based on angle of twist angle of twist nothing but theta so based on angle of twist we can find diameter of the shaft see how so according to torsion equation what is the formula t by j is equal to t by j is equal to g theta by l is equal to tau by r is equal to tau by r so let us use uh, this equation t by j is equal to g theta by l so our t for torque and this is j is called polar modulus so polar modulus for solid shaft is pi by 32 into d power 4 is equal to g theta by l we need d power 4 okay na so transpose take uh, simply take reciprocal on both the sides both sides take reciprocal on both sides you will get that so pi d power 4 by 32 G substitute all the values okay replace all uh, all the values here l is length of the shaft length of the shaft is 3000 and meters so 3000 mm into 32 into torque so what is the value of torque 5968.31 into 10 cube newton mm by shear modulus we consider how much 80 into 10 cube newton per mm square okay then mpa 80 into 10 cube into theta pi by 180 pi by 180 theta value in radians pi by 180 into pi now d power 4 is equal to yeah you can make some calculation i mean cancellation okay so here 0 0 get cancelled 8 ones 8 fours okay so finally again uh, you will get here 300 into 4 into 5968.31 into 10 cube whole divided by see reciprocal of pi by 180 180 by pi so here uh, into 180 by pi so pi into pi pi square pi square into 10 cube here 10 cube 10 cube get cancelled so again you once again 300 into 180 okay into so here we have uh, 4 okay into 5968.31 whole divided by pi square if you calculate the, you will get d power 4 value as 130 130 618706.44.44 now apply 4th root on both sides 4th root of d power 4 is equal to 4th root of 130618706.44 power 4 of 4th root get cancelled d is equal to 4th root of this is equals to you will get 106.9 mm 106.9 mm okay so this is diameter of this solid shaft based on angle of twist so now uh, based on shear stress i think uh, we got 79.72 mm here uh, based on angle of twist uh, here we have uh, 106.9 mm so generally for safety purpose to avoid failure of the solid shaft we generally consider maximum value okay now larger of two values so here what is the larger value 106.9 mm so considerable diameter of the shaft is 106.9 mm okay now based on given data diameter of a solid shaft must be 106.9 mm 9 mm to avoid failure 